It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. What's up, everybody? My name is Mo. This is Mo Reigns Gaming. Today, we're talking about Command and Conquer Remastered. It's finally here, 25 years later. Let's check that. Command and Conquer. Original. Release date. September 26, 1995. Okay, so my math was a little off. No, it wasn't. 25 years. Yeah, it's the 25th anniversary. Ha ha! Here we are, 25 years later. Can't believe this game is finally out. I'm so excited for this. This was a game I played as a kid growing up. This was such a nostalgia trip for me. Let's jump straight into it. I was smiling ear to ear the entire time I leapt into this game. I grew up with Command & Conquer. It's not just a game that got me into the RTS genre, it got me into gaming in general. This was a game I would play with my dad and my best friend growing up. Endless hours of playing the campaign and skirmishes over and over. I have such fond memories of massing up absurd amounts of mammoth tanks and just rolling over the entire map. It was glorious. And now, it can be again. Command & Conquer Remastered has been given a beautiful design overhaul while keeping the spirit of the game intact. I haven't played the original two C and C games in over a decade at least, and yet I felt like no time had passed in between. I was so excited to jump into the game that I forgot to start recording, but at any point by simply pressing the spacebar, you can change back and forth between the original graphics and the remastered. Seeing the change is fantastic. You are filled with nostalgia and then immediately impressed with how great the game looks now. The music has all been remastered as well and gets stuck in your head as easily now as it did back during the original release. And fun feature, you can now not only listen to whichever tracks you want, but you can create a custom playlist featuring remastered and original tracks. Command & Conquer is a grandfather to the RTS genre. I was all ready to write about how the mechanics haven't aged well and you'll need to approach it with forgiveness, but the more I played, the more I felt that that was inaccurate. Yeah, the pathing can be a bit suboptimal from time to time and your troops may not respond to an enemy attacking someone else right next to them without a manual order. Outside of that, however, it didn't feel as though it hadn't aged well, it just felt more demanding. The things that modern RTS games, such as StarCraft II, have accomplished are outstanding, but with such improved AI and systems, there's less micromanagement involved. In Command & Conquer, you are very much a boots-on-the-ground commander. Your units will auto-attack in the middle of battle, but sometimes all that separates victory or defeat in a battle is your direct involvement in it. Engagements are long and drawn out, constantly going back and forth and requiring attention the entire time. It requires a ton of focus, but ultimately is some of the most rewarding strategy-based combat I have had in a long, long time. The macro management side of things hasn't changed, and I found myself appreciating it more now than when I was younger. Though there are not key bindings to select and begin production of things, always having everything on your screen via the production tab, regardless of where you are on the map, is very helpful. You can switch back and forth between the various construction pages and begin unit production without leaving the battlefield. This is incredibly helpful, especially as you move into the later campaign missions and longer skirmish and multiplayer matches. Overall, the combat feels amazing. Units are not as responsive as they are in more modern RTS games, but honestly, this feels right within this universe. It encourages proper tactical approach to engagements and doesn't let you simply pivot on a dime if things go south because you didn't scout properly. You're rewarded for picking the right engagements and punished for charging in head first without a decent plan. This is easily one of the best purchases I've made in 2020. Getting to experience this all over again has been amazing. I've not only gotten to relive the entire game all over, but also approach it with a new perspective. Thanks to Command & Conquer, I've played RTS games my whole life and can now go back to where it all began with all the things that I've learned. Whether you're a CNC veteran, new to the game, or new to the genre altogether, this is a must-have. Go and experience or relive 
the game that started it all.